another aspect of I wanted to talk about the family business part. Yeah. So what you guys have done is is amazing. Like you guys took your family business and you expanded it in different in different areas. Yeah. And that's yeah. It. yeah. But you'll I mean, I don't know how many kids do this nowadays, but though there's some kids who are born into that family. Sure. Who are in that family and you know, they they're you know, their parents tell them to like, hey, run the business and stuff like that, take it from there. Yeah. It'll be better for you instead of struggling. Right. You know, from outside world. Right. But now you see these kids, man, it's just like because they have that comfort. Sure. They're like, Oh, I need to put in work. Yeah. I have the money. Yeah. My 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 parents have done the work for me. Yeah. And they're just sitting there, you know, there's collecting the cash, whatever whatever profit it is, yeah. they're enjoying the life. Yeah. And that's that's the one debate is between is like, okay, you're running in a family business, you're running a family business. Why aren't you doing anything about it? Yeah. Like why you're staying so comfortable about it? Because sure. you have other people out here who are struggling at entrepreneurs yep. who are barely who are in debt. Yeah. Who are struggling every day trying yeah. to put food on the table. Yeah. And you're over here just sitting on your ass, not doing anything, just because your family took the your your parents struggled hard enough just yeah. to you know yeah. to put you in that position. So yeah. I wanted to get your perspective on that. Man, I just think that our generation, you know, and not to talk to, to diss anybody, but I think the further along we're getting towards monetizing things and you know, AI and all this stuff, yeah. we're gearing more towards just laziness, laziness right? Like, yeah, yeah. one thing about the cleaning industry is you you won't, not yet, but you won't find a robot post yeah. doing yeah. the cleaning of your window or, yeah. or the inside. So we are a very labor-based business and, yeah. and you know, we, we, you know we, we have to put in the work. Yeah. Um, but I, I completely get what you're saying, man. I, I, I just feel like for people like that, man, like they just need to realize that at the end of the day, you could lose it all. Like, oh, yeah. like I, live, I live every single day in the fear that it doesn't matter how big our business gets or small it is or whatever. I live in fear every single day that my one client that's pissed off or not ex accepting our work, yeah. they could ruin our reputation. reputation they could yeah. ruin our name. Mm -hmm. And that's a fear I live with every single day. And I feel like if you don't have that, if you don't live with that fear, yeah. you will not succeed in business. Because in business, it is all about this. Mm -hmm. Entrepreneurship is about this. this yeah. You're going to hit the ground face flat so many times you won't even keep count anymore. Yeah. Because you've been through it so many times that your only way of dealing with that is getting up. Getting up. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. But the problem here is if I now hand you a $100 million business, mm. okay, Shabash, I gave it to you. Cool. Yeah. As a father, I might feel proud of myself. But what did I give you? What skills did I give you? I just mm. gave you the $100 million business. All right, you might run it for five years, 10 years. But I bet you eventually, if you're not running it with fear yeah. and, 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 and a good chip on your shoulder. Business is out. I mean, I could be wrong, right? But I, but I, I'm going to say majority of guys will lose their businesses because they don't, they don't live with that fear. And I think that if you're going to, the way I see business is like this. If, if, if tomorrow I wasn't running Eco Giants, I would hire somebody who is more obsessive than me in my mm. business. Mm. You need to run my business like I, you're more obsessed than, in my business than, than I am. Yep. That's yep. the only way I'll give the reins up. Yeah, yeah. And that's the way it should be with the parents, you know? My wife and I have this conversation all the time. When we have kids, they want to go out to the movies. You know, you want to go watch the new Diljeet movie? Oh, no problem. <laughs> you're going to mow the lawn, yeah. right? You're going you're gonna to take down some things for dad. You're going you're gonna to maybe, maybe you're going to wash the fleet of vehicles. Yeah. Then we're going to give you 25 bucks. Well, oh, yeah. You need popcorn? Oh, hold up. The backyard needs some cleaning too. <laughs> like, you have to earn it, yeah. right? My brother, me, my sister-in-law, and my wife. Yeah. One thing the four of us have is that we've all worked for what we have. Yeah, like, yeah, we good. don't... we handouts are nice inheritance yeah. are nice and all that good stuff yeah, but yeah. but we we literally the four of us have to struggle and fight and claw for what we have yeah. you know so so i mean it's i want to say um i know what it feels like to take over the business but it's like like i don't know what it feels like to take over a huge successful business you yeah, know what yeah, i mean yeah. but but i could only imagine if you don't have the right chip on your shoulder if you don't have the right mindset, mindset yeah, it, yeah, yeah. it's not gonna go very well yeah, yeah. you know you're gonna be confused a, 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 a lot, lot of the time you know what i mean so People yeah. don't understand that. Like you said, it's like passing a, you can pass the keys to the car. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It takes, you can just start it. That's fine. But the yeah. thing is, until you don't understand the value of that particular car, when it comes to the, how it's built, yep. how it runs, how you maintain it. Yep. That's what a business is. Yep. How is it run? How do you maintain it? How do you improve the quality exactly. of this car yeah. over a period of time? Yeah. When you don't understand the utilization of what that is, you will never succeed. And that's oh, exactly. due to the comfort of easiness and not willing to put hard work man uh, yeah. like and it's straying away now just due to the fact that the environment and the culture we're creating mm -hmm. is to baby the feelings of the kids and yeah. that's one of the things you probably as a dad can probably relate to to a certain extent is mm -hmm. 
as you said, back in the day, when my mom and dad, they're like, oh, you want something? Like, start work, work for it. Exactly. Started working at Subway when I was like 14. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. I didn't buy my own phone because I couldn't ask my parents because they didn't have much. Exactly. I finally got my first phone. I was in grade 12. It was yeah. an Android. It's like, because I had to work <laughs> yeah. my ass to get yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But now it's like, yeah. everybody expects a handout at grade, like, you're 10 years old, you yeah, want an yeah, iPhone. Yeah, it's, yeah. Like, it's like, yeah. it's like these hands out, like our ki- our parents are not taking that initiative to yep. be like, no, it, it got to be this way. If it's yep. not, yep. okay, go get it yourself. Yep. Yeah. Go, go, go somewhere else. We can't yep. baby people's feelings. And I can see where the parents are coming from because when the parents struggle the way they did, yeah. facing racism and, you know, growing up in Surrey, Vancouver, I could only imagine, man, like how it was in the 90s. And it's a little better now. Yeah. You face it every now and then. But the way racism was, it's like, you have to give them the credit where it's really due, man. Like, yeah. come on. Like, your parents really went through this, like, to give you a better life. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, you know, it's just moving forward in life and just the way you handle yourself, it shows a lot about shows yourself. Itself, yeah. You know what I mean? So... The turmoil, yeah. the turmoil is always going to be with your parents. The reason yeah. what I said turmoil and all is something that's some, um, that can't be fixed. Yeah. You're never going to see eye to eye when it comes to majority of the things, no. whether it's the way you view life, right. how you perceive it. You, you know the atmosphere and environment has changed, right? Yep, yep. But you can't expect them to embrace it with the same arms that you embrace it with. No, mm. no. You can't. You're right. like, and thing is, like, it's hard for them to understand the life because, as you said, they do come from a different, different perspective. I, yeah. I could never fully understand my dad. I, half of the time, I have the, the struggle with, like, I don't understand you, like, and you know do you want to change, right? But then again, I'm like, okay, if I quit on him, there's no growing. Sure. So yep. for me, it's like, okay, I got to keep at it in a sense. As hard as that sounds, people are like, oh, like, you know, like, it's not for your job. But then it is. Mm-hmm. It, yeah. It's a job. Yeah. Everything we do and we want to put forth, it's our responsibility. Yeah. Teaching yeah. whether it's your mom, like, I, my mom is my best friend. I can talk to anything, everything I want to because I created that environment. Right. People, they say they can't. They haven't tried. Yeah. Like they run, they run away from those situations because they're like it's too much pressure. Yeah, like they're not gonna change their mind, but it's just how you address it. Like you yeah. with my my dad, my best friend. Yeah. Like I talk to him about everything, dating, everything like that. Yeah, he fucking yeah. loves it. He's like, oh, that's yeah. how it is now. Yeah, and I was like, yeah, <laughs> that's how it is. He's like, no wonder you're single. I'm like, okay, chill. Out there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, it's it's the thing with yeah. even my dad. Like there was one moment where he was saying like, he's like, I'm proud of you. Yeah, yeah. I was like, no, no. I was like, I'm not saying that in a negative way. Yeah. But I was like, I haven't made myself worth. Yeah. My worth enough to uh yeah. for you to for you to see it yeah because the amount of work that you put in yeah where I was in the back seat like I was eating like because he was a pizza delivery yeah, 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 yeah. during the night yeah taxi driver during the day yeah sit in the back you know I had a small bread sticks and stuff like that yeah man I'll see him going in and out of car, uh, house like dropping a pizza <laughs> at times he was put a, a knife point and stuff yeah, like that yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like how dare I complain yeah yeah you can't you don't have no reason to man too much um yeah we have too much privilege and um to complain you know one thing i want to touch upon is like yeah. that quote by 50 cent what does he say yeah. he's like this can be looked at a negative or positively yeah i think you maybe you guys know he, he says if you're a man he's like and if you're depressed or you're doing this he's like that's a luxury <laughs> I, mm, I, I think you watched that. I got like, way too much time on your your hands, yeah. man. If you're stressing about things like don't don't even mean anything to your life, you know. Yeah. And you say yeah. you're yeah. depressed or like, oh, I can't do this or can't do that. Oh yeah. He's like, if you have time for that, he's like, that's a luxury. And oh yeah. Th- think about Fifty Cent story. What, yeah. what was it like? Yeah. Mom was a freaking dope dealer. Dad wasn't around. Yeah. Mom was a G. She yeah. got killed. Yeah. Her, gra- her grandmother raised him. Yeah. Came from nothing to something. Even during those dark times, he's yeah. like, man, he's like, I found a way to hustle oh, yeah. and provide. He's yeah. like, the day he's like, I gave up on life and be like, oh, life is shit, this, that. He's like, that's the day you lose yourself. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. And, but now, imagine you say that to someone today, be like, hey, yo, depression is a, like, that's a luxury to have yeah, as a man. Cancel right away. Cancel right away. <laughs> it's like, why is yeah. that canceled? Yeah, like, yeah, no, yeah. that's called fucking real shit. Yeah. That's what it takes. Being a man in this world, that's what it takes. Yeah. You, you can't, you, you might throw a pity party today, but tomorrow you got to get your ass up and figure yeah. that shit it's out. It's not supposed to be easy. Yeah. It's like, how, how can you life. pursue life uh, if everything was just a straight line? Everything sure. was easy going. Yeah. Like, what, well, how can you call that life? Yeah. Right. Well, when people say they're depressed, man, I mean, if you're really depressed, you're depressed. But it's like sometimes you look at certain people and they're like, oh, man, I'm depressed. I'm like, bro, you're depressed every day. Like, you got too much time on <laughs> oh, your yeah. hands. Like, like, I sometimes say to people, like, Oh man, aren't you depressed doing this? This I'm like, bro, I don't got time to be depressed. depressed. Like, I just don't yeah. have time for it. Like, I would love to sit there and sulk and yeah, and, 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 and oh, this happened in my life and that happened. I'm like, no, man, I gotta keep moving forward. You know what yeah. I mean? So, 
I mean, you know, one thing I always touch on with my, you know, with, with our mom is like, even like after my mom had passed, I think my brother and I took off like one or two days worth of work, literally. And again, people grieve in different ways, but my brother and I, our mentality literally went into work. Work, Like we need to now, like before, if we were a little lazy, if we had that little thing in our, like, oh, I don't want to do it. Oh, that does not exist anymore. It's like, we have to now become men, take over the household, like do everything, like it's our job to do the dishes. dishes, It's our job to cook the food. It's our job to take the clothes downstairs. It's our job to pay the bills. You know what I mean? So, you know, these things all kick in, bro. And I feel like there's a lot of people that either they run from that situation or they rise. And it's like, it's, it's, you're either or, you know what I mean? Yeah. You you can't be a Debbie down ass person, man. No, man. No, you you can't. You're a Debbie down ass person. Nobody cares, man. Go get what you want. There's no reason for you not to get what you can. You like even a story by yourself with the company. It's not like, Hey, Gary, this is what you got to do. Do it this way. Yeah. This is how you get X amount of money. Yeah. There's no certainty that you're going to succeed in that business. There's no certainty. Sure. There's never no certainty when yeah. it comes to business. Yeah. Because something that, as you said, a reputation could go down due to these couple of clients. Yep. Mm. Everybody matters. And how you treat someone that gives you 100 and then how you treat someone that pays you 1000 is an epitome of your character as Absolutely, a person. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. And, and, and the day yeah. you forget that, be like, nah, I'm going to focus on the high one. Like, now I don't yeah. care about 100 yeah. is a day you will fail as yeah. a businessman in, in life in general. Yeah. Yeah. You can't look at it from a skewed perspective and like, okay, how do I get what I want? It's like, what are you putting forth to get that? Yeah. yeah. I always tell it. people, man, like, no one's ever, like, and I don't know if, how, if, if life works this way. No one's going to come and drop a million bucks in your lap. lap. Oh, never no. going to happen. No, no. You, you can keep praying and <laughs> writing things and having these, like, vision boards and everything. But if you're not going to execute on your plan. Yeah. Like, I, I remember one of our biggest goals was to do a million dollars in revenue with, with our business. business yeah. And, I mean, like, when we hit that, I was like, oh, my Lord. Like, I couldn't even believe it. Because yeah. I remember... It was so far that the idea of that was so far when we had the idea of Eco Giants and we were, you know, the the office space was the uh, walk-in closet of our house right now. Literally, like, my brother and I couldn't uh, have our chairs back to back, you know what I mean? Like, it was that bad. And now we're in a big office with revenue and with staff. And I'm like, man, I could only imagine being here. I could only imagine. But I remember execution, putting a plan together. Um, every single year I go to Staples, I buy a book and I write all my ideas in there. I write five personal goals, five business goals. Ever since my mom passed away, I started, actually, it was the book that I had to write all my responsibilities down. <laughs> Mortgages this much, this much. Literally yeah, like a yeah. week after mom had passed, October, you know, it was, I think, uh, the 20th in 2013. And I wrote everything down, every bill, every payment, how much I had in my checkings account, how much I had in my savings account. And at the same time I wrote, I'm going to start my own company and I'm going to make a million dollars one day. And I remember one Crazy. day I looked back at that book and like, you know, five, six, seven books later, and I'm looking at the first thing on that page was that, that you know yeah, what I mean? That's so, insane, man. so, so, <laughs> and again, it's not to like flaunt, flaunt it's to yeah. literally say that if you say it, okay, cool. It's out in the universe, but you got to do it. Do it yeah. You got to yeah. execute it. And if there's a, what, what I would say, if this is your end goal here, if yeah. it's a million dollars, work backwards. backwards. Yeah, don't yeah. work, don't work step one, step two, step three. Figure out what your end goal is and work backwards to figure out what the plan is to get you there.